Hey everybody, this is Audible here, and this time we're reviewing Transformers Anime, Jetfire, and Jetstorm. Uh, Jetfire and Jetstorm are the youngest members of the Elite Guard. They are twin brothers. Uh, Jetfire and Jetstorm were created from the technology of Starscream into making the first ever flying Autobots. And you can read it with the comic uh, called Rise of Safeguard, the or the Arrival Part Six uh, that comes along with the set, and it has the introductions of many new characters such as Perceptor, Wheeljack, Red Alert, and of course Jetfire and Jetstorm. Um, it shows pretty much how they were created and trained and became the youngest members of the Elite Guard ever. So eat your heart out, Bumblebee. Okay, so on to the toys. Uh, Jetfire and Jetstorm, as you can all both tell, they are retools of each other because they look almost the same, but there are a little bit of differences. Um, there are uh, Jetstorm is the blue one, and the one I find by far better than Jetfire. Um, Jetfire kind of reminds me of the uh, Human Torch uh, Marvel uh, Transformers crossover toy. And Jetstorm reminds me of Captain Falcon's uh, ship from F-Zero, in a way. Um, they have their Elite Guard logos right here. Okay, so to combine them into Jet Mode, and yes, they do combine into Jet Mode, as you may or may not have already heard. Uh, you just combine them like so, snap them in like so, okay, and rotate that around. And there you have Jetfire and Jetstorm in their combined safeguard jet mode. Originally, the instructions say do it like this, but you know they're they're just test shot instructions. They're not always that correct. Okay, so to start transforming the Jetfire Jetstorm mold, first thing you have to do is like get the legs out working. Yeah, that's one of the few problems I have with this toy. It's the positioning of the legs. Uh, okay. Then you pull down the, the, the chest like so. Um, then you push uh, this in. And there you got Jetstorm in the robot mode, and I'll qu then now I will quickly transform uh, Jetfire. Okay, need to open up the legs. I like to point out that one of the legs of the two may be longer, and I and that will be explained very soon uh... in uh... UK. okay and there we got Jetfire so Jetfire and Jetstorm are exactly the same mold because they look almost the same you know except for this and their heads Jetstorm is designed to look a lot more like his Viacon counterpart uh, from Beast Machines. Originally, uh, I thought he was going to be a Decepticon, so I was wondering how he and the Autobot Jetfire were going to combine. Now I know Jetstorm is an Autobot. Uh, I, I didn't really understand at first because, you know, almost every other Jetstorm is a Decepticon or Viacon or whatever. Uh, as I said earlier, that Jeff Fire does look like the Human Torch. Uh, you can really see in this mode. 
uh, Jetfire and Jetstorm in the comics, as I think you can see around here, they have their special abilities. Uh, uh, Jetfire can like flame on, and Jetstorm can freeze on. I don't know if Iceman ever said that, but that's what they can do. Um. Uh, so you, you they got a lot of good posability. Uh, the arms. Uh, only Jetfire, Jetstorm, actually has the head articulation because Jetstorm's head is less bigger or bulkier than Jetfire's. Um. They don't really come with any weapons. It's a little bit of a disappointment, but I guess if they, I guess they could probably kick someone, you know, using the fire. But I already just showed you that they do look like, uh, you know, it sh they just f flame on or freeze on. Uh, love to see uh, uh, Takara Tomi if they ever import animated to. Uh, do like clear crystal versions of them. Now that would be cool. Uh, they have great. They're just great toys. I think they just look fantastic. Robot modes. I mean, they're they're just cool. And I don't know. The they're they're possibly one of the best brother duos I have ever seen. Um, this video is going to be continued with the safeguard transformation, so later.